Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host, James. What's happening? Today, we're just out cruising. Got off work early. It's a beautiful day. We're just gonna try and take advantage of this weather and get some stuff done. Funny story, I driving home from work in the neighborhood and I hit my air horn just messing with a kid. Scared him. He turned around and threw a full, large Wendy's cup of Sprite, I'm guessing, at me. Just nailed my driver's side window, so now I gotta go clean all this junk off. I deserved it, I'm not gonna lie. I deserved it. I started laughing. I thought it was pretty funny. After the fact, at first I was a little, I was a little mad, but I laughed. Afterwards I laughed and was like, yep, I deserved that. I really did, I deserved it. But yeah, we're here at the car wash. I'm gonna spray that down, and then we'll see what happens. Now that we got that taken care of, I'm gonna make a stop over here at Carl's Jr. Get one of my second favorite fruit, favorite foods on this planet. Thank you for choosing Carl's Jr. Would you like to try one of our new three way bacon burgers? No, thank you. Can I get one spicy chicken sandwich with uh, no lettuce? Spicy, no lettuce. What else? A medium Dr. Pepper. A medium Dr. Pepper, anything else? That is it, my friend. All uh, right, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Please thank you. How you doing, sir? Hey. 216, please. Do y'all have chicken strips here? How would you rate them on a scale from one to 10? About an eight. Have you ever had canes? No. Canes. They're better than canes? Ah, nice. I'll have to try them soon you then. about us that we make our tenders to order. Yeah. So they're always fresh. Nice. That's what we I'm talking about. Tenders. Fresh tenders are the bomb. Have it out for you, Carl, there, man. All right, thank you. Did you hear that, people? Carl's Jr. Chicken Tenders fresh to order that's what i'm talking about i may have a new favorite chicken tenders chicken strips place because i've never tried them and i didn't know they had them i'm gonna try maybe today <laughs> all right boss you need any ketchup or anything i'm good man all right man you have oh napkins no nah, i'm good appreciate oh, okay. you have a good <laughs> nobody saw that it's good no one will ever see that. To my fallen chicken brethren it took to make this sandwich, I salute you. Low on gas. Better stop and get some fuel. Of course. Of course. That's what I'm talking about. Gasoline. One day it will be gone. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Whenever you're standing at a gas station, you ever get that feeling that something's about to pop off? You get looking over your shoulder thinking, what am I gonna do when this happens? I get that feeling all the time. I guess you can call it paranoid. I just call it prepared, especially in little shanty towns. Look over there. I don't know what's over there. It's grandma in a wheelchair. She could have an AK. I don't know. She could. Pump shotgun, something. And underneath there, might have to draw on her. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just saw a lady over there. I might have to flex for her. I know you like that. Remnants still in my truck from this past weekend. Lately I've been getting the urge, even though I just got that SIG 308, I've been getting this hardcore urge to get another rifle. I'm not quite sure what I want yet. And I, when I do, choose to buy a rifle i don't ever like oh i want this i want this certain specific kind of rifle i like to just go literally this is what i do i wake up like on the weekend a saturday morning or something I go to cabela's i go to bass pro i go to academy i'll go to every gun store in the area i can find k5 arms exchange is where i usually end up to buy my rifles i look everywhere and then i finally choose and then i usually end up going back to where i saw the favorite one i don't like i like to just kind of wing it you know like i said before Plans? No. Winging it? Faux show. Sure. I don't know. Leave a comment if you think, you know, if you got a suggestion of what I should take a look at. But right now, I'm thinking about an AK. It always ends up being something different than I think about I might want at the beginning. And also,
so I'm uh, thinking about get. I used to have a Kimber Ultra Carry. Thinking about getting another one of those, just because I think they look so cool, and to get it to perfectly match my other Kimber. I just think it looks beautiful with them just laying side by side. If you got any suggestions? Let me know. I'm currently working on getting a logo made. It's in the process. I need to get all kinds of stuff. I need to get. I just need to get art made. You know, like what my emblem should be, stuff like that. I'm working all that. Gonna intro and outro. I gotta build up content before I can get that done, but I'm gonna get it done. When I do, it's gonna amaze you. It's gonna just blow your mind how awesome it is. You'll wake up in the morning, you'll want, first thing you'll wanna see is that Guns and Chicken Strips logo. Just bow! Stickers, all that stuff. I'll be seeing it flying on all these different people's cars, and I'll just be like, my baby. It's my babies, my buddies, my pals. My fans. No, I don't have any. I don't think I'll have any, ever have any other fans because I'm just a regular dude. But whatever happens, it's going to be cool. I'm just doing this because it's fun. I really like it. Different, you know. Takes away from the everyday just grind. But other than that, we're just cruising. Well, I'm going to pick up some of these empties, Lord. As soon as I find where they lay. Tied off them jolly and leaving mines on a long Here's a random thought. My thoughts on women. My type, I'm always like, oh, I need, just need to get a normal girl, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. And whenever a uh, normal girl or whatever, and then I get a normal girl, and I'm like, oh, she's perfect. She, she does everything I ask. I do everything she asks. We have a really good relationship. And then I'm just like, after a while, I'm just kind of like, this is boring. So I, so we ended up, it ends up not working out. So I guess... I've come to terms lately with the fact that I like crazy women. They gotta be crazy. The crazier, the better. I don't know. It's just something about psychos. It's weird. I know. It just keeps me interested. Keeps me going. You know. If they're normal. I get bored too easily. They gotta be crazy. Okay. Bottom line: crazy women. Yes. You are my fire, the one desire. Hi babies! Hi babies! What's going on, my little minions? Charlie! You're so fat and beautiful, Charlie! You're so fat and beautiful! So fat and beautiful! Back here at the Guns and Chicken Strips headquarters. Just had to pick up something real quick. AR upper, not an expensive one. As soon as we get back to uh, Lunker's crib, we'll give you a rundown of what this one is. This right here is a Smith & Wesson M&P. The lower is actually at Lunker's house. I just decided to, uh, we used it on the Can Cannon when we went to Demolition Ranches, so I left it over there, but stopped by here to pick up the upper. Just a plain Jane M&P, no, not even a Ford Assist. Kind of a, it's kind of a piece of junk, but a buddy of mine wanted to get rid of it and gave me an insane deal, and I do not pass up insane deals. That's one thing you gotta learn with guns. If you like the guns, you like to have a lot of them, never pass up a great deal. Back on the road again, and you know what that means. Oh, wow. What up, dog? Yeah, I'll stop by. No, uh, you got it? Awesome, I'll be there in a minute. That was my buddy Repo Mike. He's been waiting to get this really cool thing that he might be taking me out in pretty soon. I'm pretty damn excited because I hadn't been out doing this in a while, but I'll show you, we're about to be there. Ooh, this is awesome. I can see it just coming down the road. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Look at this bad truck. Look at that thing. That thing's just awesome. 
buddy Repo Mike promised to take me out on that sometime soon. I'm pretty excited because that thing's awesome. Costume, yeah. I was told that y'all's chicken strips are amazing. You are correct, sir. Here you go. Thank you. Would you like any ketchup or sauce? No, ma'am. You have a great day. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. The dude just saw me do that. Cracked him up. Carl's Jr., I'm impressed. Dang good chicken strips. Very impressed. Look at that. Very nice. Smith & Wesson, m and nothing special about it. No forward assist, fixed front sight, hop up rear mag pull sight. It's good for as cheap as it was, but I'm a big believer in you get what you paid for when it comes to firearm. <clears throat> but let's get it back together. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Guns and Chicken Strips. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you tomorrow.